Hi, it's Christian from Film Jams. Today, we're jamming with Adorama TV. We just shot a short film that we'd like to share with you, and then, more importantly, we'll break down the lighting and camera gear we used. Shall we? Activate the Film Jam. So we're using the Canon C70 with the DZO Film Vespid Primes on the Ronin RS2. And we are going to film a dance sequence right now, and we're gonna fire up the hazer, and we also are going to go out to the beach and film out there with our ballerina, Danny. And we have Giles, who is a theater actor, and he's playing our painter today. So we're doing a bit of an abstract little video. We've got an awesome crew. Let's make some movies. <laughs> We came up with the idea for this film as we wanted to try something a little more abstract. I do a lot of documentary work, a lot of corporate work, and we thought, let's throw around some paint and get a ballerina. What could go wrong? We got very lucky with Danny, one of the principals of the Sarasota Ballet, and then Giles, who's an amazing Shakespearean theater actor who played our painter. What do you get when you mix a ballerina and Shakespearean theater actor? A shake ball. These first scenes we shot with the C70 on the Ronin RS2 gimbal. We wanted to get some nice smooth gimbal shots here for the dancing sequence, and then I wanted to strip it all down. And the great thing about the Canon C70 is it's so modular. I used the top handle to get some low angle shots for these beach scenes, and everything here at the beach was handheld. I also switched on the internal stabilization, which is digital on the C70. It's a nice feature for run and gun type scenarios. It's not quite as good as true IBIS, but it is pretty handy. Hmm. I own a number of cinema lenses, including the Cook S4, the Atlas Anamorphics, the Ingenue DP Zooms, blah, blah, blah. But I find myself going back to these DZO Film Vespid Primes because they're much smaller than all those other lenses and they're fast. And I personally really enjoy how they flare. Hmm. You don't have a good flare? You can get right out of my camera bag. Get out of there, Charlie. For the audio portion of the film, we wanted to use our Sennheiser mics. I've been a big Sennheiser user for years. I started with the 416, never look back. 
We used the Sennheiser MK60 for the audio here. There's actually no dialogue in our film, but we wanted to include our actor breathing so the audience can hear the intensifying of his emotions as he's breaking down more and more. <laughs> Get a Sennheiser and stop fooling around. As far as lighting, the film was lit with two of the new Quasar Science double rainbow tubes. We'd reviewed these rainbows in another video a couple weeks back, and since then we've been using them on pretty much everything. So we're gonna light this whole scene using just two Quasar double rainbows. What I like about these lights is they have a new color engine, the RGB control in them, the color saturation that limits the clipping. Really nice. So let's get light in this artistic painter scene. Carson, activate. For this scene in the studio, we wanted some color contrast to the more stark lighting in the dancing scene. So we just dialed in the cyan color on the key light here, and then the hair light, we used a warmer tone. When we went outside, the two double rainbows, again, were the only lights we used. And they were basically used as fill light in front of our talent, so the sunlight didn't blow out the picture too much. And we set them to 5600 Kelvin to match the sunlight. I used an Anton Bauer battery on each of the rainbow tubes to power them, and the batteries lasted three to four hours, and they still had a 70% charge when we wrapped. Super convenient. Overall, the C70 is a really impressive little camera. I think it's perfect for filmmaking or commercial work, and working on this film really made me see how versatile it can be. The built-in NDs are a huge advantage to some of their cameras in the same price range. We shot this entire film in 60p in the long GOP codec, and the slow motion has a very smooth look, I thought. Anyway, want to give a shout out to Adorama TV again for having us out. I hope you enjoyed the film and seeing the breakdown of the gear and why we used each piece of kit. Make sure to check out our channel, Film Jams, on YouTube to see more of our tutorials and reviews. I'm Christian with Film Jams. Thanks for watching.